All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well a Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you do like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, meaning every card to be able to relate with career, relationship, negative, positive aspect, and in dedicated uh, tarot spreads, I'm offering an online classes and for them you can sign up again from my website. So uh, that being said, the very first card for Capricorn, which marks the very topic of their week, is going to be the Hierophant, uh, the uh, Hermit, excuse me. Followed by the next one, which represents uh, the so the energies which are feeding and supporting the situation. Well, we're talking about a big one here. Uh, very possible to be a big love, though. Because with the energies of the Two of Cups, it's very likely to be emotional connection. It's most likely to be an emotional connection. In the, high, in the Hermit puts it to a string of substantial one. So we're talking about the big thing, especially if you are single, well, you are to experience something emotionally that's, it will be different. It's like you have never experienced it before. And it will be a good thing though. So next one, it is the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the impression that you are going to make or leave into the people around. That will be the Queen of Wands. And the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. We have the Magician card. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the first two then. Uh, we do have the Two of Cups as the energies. Now, that could be the energy of love. All right, so it's just the two of cups. There is uh, that is the best way, or kind of like the most uh, expressed way you can look at the card. So the energy of love towards someone you already are with, towards someone new, for example. But the thing is, because we do have the uh, hermit card here into the situation, you are gonna classify this love from irrelevant to a, a substantial one. Okay, so for example, you are dating with someone, you're, and it's kind of for you, it's like a game right now, you're not paying much of an attention to it, or you are classifying it as something completely ordinary. Well, this week you may understand that that is a substantial thing for you, that is actually your thing to, uh, to proceed forward with. Uh, the Two of uh, Cups also, in terms of uh, energies, could represent the um, not the harmony, but how can I say it? The the equilibrium into the relationships you do have, especially if we're talking about career uh, career representation of the card, meaning that uh, in your career environment throughout the week, everybody is going to be on the same page. Everybody is going to work cumulatively. Everybody is going to attend to each other's problems, so you can raise this company from the ground not to the ground but from the ground and uh, breathe in life into it again because once again that is something substantial you ain't gonna you don't want to be left jobless right uh, so with those two cards we could see that um, you ain't gonna spend the week alone that is that is for sure here and you are gonna look for and the universe itself those energies themselves are going to bring to you those people and those circumstances and situations that you can emotionally relate and connect to, to a point where you are going to understand that this is the only thing that matters. In a sense of that, the only thing that matters, it's what makes you feel good. It's what makes you feel loved. It's what makes you feel uh, cherished. It's what makes you feel a human. Uh, uh, many of you, however, may have to detach from the current path they are going in a direction of right now. That is very, um, very typical for the hermit. 
because with the hermits uh one has a, a huge it's not even a wake-up call it's more like a uh a realization that they are not moving exactly in the right direction that they are moving right that they need to move therefore we do have some sort of a seclusion just to identify is that the true direction or not this new one that comes about with the two of cups and then moving into it moving accordingly to it although there may be not very people around to cheer you up for it so you can expect that not everybody is going to be agreed with that new stance of yours in the sense of you know enjoying the warmth and the love that it will come to you throughout uh, this particular week so what this means on a more practical level though well if you are single those energies definitely are going to bring you someone to that that will be that you are going to be able to um how can I say it? To plant love with again is going to be entirely up to you. Giving it to the uh, to the situation itself, you may have a second guess: is this substantial or not? While it is a substantial, you just have to give yourself a bit of a time to um, to perceive it that way. And in terms of career, those two cards are pointing that. Uh, you and your colleagues or your business partner and etc are now instead of kind of like working behind each other's back trying to backstab each other you know now you're going to unite on the under the common goal because the common goal is to have a job at the end of the day here and to to be better simply in in a to end up in a better circumstances in terms of a career unfoldment an unfoldment so moving next it is the challenges that you need to overcome that is the seven of cups so what the card here points it is that it will be challenging for you to make it right from the first try and you may feel discouraged to try again and that is the challenge itself you got to try again because uh, with the seven of cups uh, that also serves some sort of a and uh, contributes to the gifts and the blessings that uh, you do have a, a luxury to try second and even a third time because what the seven of cups here points it is that you do have some sort of a checkpoint okay where you cannot possibly make it any worse than that or than whatever you are capable of and so the worst possible result of a wrong action of uh, wrongdoing of um uncalculated maneuvers and words is going to be just a disappointment that is going to bounce you back and you get to try again so you definitely if for example you piss off somebody or you don't meet your criteria in terms of projects and etc etc you definitely have the time throughout the week to um tame the person you know to make it up for them or to fix and repair whatever you have not get right at the first place with your project and etc etc you just don't you just should not give up you know from the initial uh, disappointment which is uh, where the gifts and the blessings are coming at play here Capricorn that is going to be the Queen of Swords and that is a, a person who is encouraging you to the shred of your bones that is someone that is going to say really you're just going to give up like that I mean what what kind of a person you are and do you have a balls this uh, the Queen of Swords uh, th these people they do deny failure they are such kind of an, an aggressive type of personality that always not exactly knows but always gets what they want and uh, that kind of an individual is going to encourage you and even more they will help you and when they are helping you there is nothing that you cannot push through maybe they are not going to help you for your first and second try but definitely if they see that you cannot exert the right measures into your career or into your relationship they are going to step up and help you with it and uh, probably you are baffled well how this could manifest into my relationship well say you know you are married and you and your wife are fighting constantly you just cannot get into the same page you're constantly disappointed here but throughout the week you identify that you just love them that they are your significant one they are your substantial person and disappointment after disappointment you are bounced back you just cannot find the right words you just cannot find the appropriate measures to um, tame down the negative passion and 
their father or their mother steps in and just sort it out for you. This is how that could manifest in terms of a relationship. This person, it is someone that wants to see your things prevailing for one or another reason. And if you cannot do it by yourself, they are going to do it for you. Uh, hopefully you are not going to get to that point though. Moving next, we do have the impression of the people around. We do have the Queen of the Queen of Wands here, excuse me. And people will see you very. Um, uh, the word is not capable. It's more like attentive, maybe, in a sense of that uh, you do have a, a very good understanding into what kind of a uh, individual in personality everybody around has. So therefore, people will will not kind of um, adopt the standpoint that they could bullshit you around, they could fool you around, and especially that they can deceive you around because they will see that you do know what their game is. So that will be their impression. You may not have a clue though, but people are going to be suspicious that you are suspicious for them as well. So you can you are to see that the people around you are very, very careful how they are attending to you because they do not want to see the worst of you or in a sense that dark part that everybody holds within. So they, do, they will not want to see the monster from within. And uh, especially good card in terms of career, uh, it's just your boss is going to see you as a capable person because they will see how good business sense you do have. And if you think that you don't have it, that is because you are underestimating yourself, which leads us to the next one here. And that will be to the last one, which is the magician. And that is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So we started the reading with love, which is most likely how this whole thing is going to manifest. And the magician here points that you can be accepted for, for who you truly are. You don't have to be someone else, okay? You don't have to try to please somebody around. You don't have to try to be liked. If someone is to like you, they are to like you for who, for who you are. This is the only way how your future relationship is going to have sovereignty. This is how your future relationship is going to have a mutual respect in there. And this is how your future or current relationship, though, can be sorted out because the magician also predisposed for a communication. And if you cannot sort something with actions, communication is definitely the way. It's what the, what the card points. And finally, whenever you want something, you have to make the impression into those, into those around you that you really want it. So if you are trying to fix your relationship, your partner needs to see that you do want that relationship, that you do count on that relationship. And that is everything for you. That is your significant one. That is the only thing substantial for you at that point. That's the point of the reading. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Um, in term of April 6th to April 12th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you do like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, in a sense of uh, to link, to connect any card you draw in terms of career, in terms of relationship, positive, negative aspect, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and to be able to place it in any place or in any position in a spread, you can sign up for my online courses again through my website, and uh, I'm gonna sort you out with it. So that being said, um, hopefully we are gonna stay safe now, and uh, we're gonna see each other around. Until then, bye.